What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection Legends Series 15, Kane. And so here we have Legend Series Kane pose and out of the packaging. Before we have a look at the figure, let's run through his accessories really fast. Kane does come with two pairs of hands, we do get a pair of grip hands. Then we get a pair of style pose hands. Finally, Kane does come with the raw version of the tag team title, which is a really nice accessory. Other than that, Kane doesn't come with anything else. There's a few more accessories I wish he came with, but all in all, I do like what he has. With that being said, guys, let's actually take a closer look at Kane. So here we have a closer look at Legend Series 15 Kane, and overall I'm very impressed with this figure. This is one of my favorite versions of Kane. I know we had a look at the ringside collectible version of Kane, and that was a really nice figure, but this I think is a much better figure, and I do like the things that Mattel did with this version of Kane that we'll go on to right now. Now if you guys recall in my ringside collectible Kane, we did get this version of Kane as well, but he did have the gimmick of having a removable mask which is perfectly fine, it's okay for what it is, but it does omit the goatee that this Kane has right here, as you can see. During this era, Kane did have a goatee and facial hair, and the Ringside Club Collectibles Kane never had that, so I do like that. Another key difference is the paint pattern on the mask. Now, I did look over some pictures before doing this review. This paint pattern is more accurate than this one although I think the black right here on this one should be more in line with this one but overall I do like the sculpt work on the mask this is one of my favorite versions of Kane and they did a really good job with it. you can see he does have the two-tone eyes which is a really nice touch I do like the coloration here on his mask now there were two versions of Kane's mask there was one where it had this shade of red and then there was one that had a darker shade of red which personally I think this is a much better version overall I do like it it does have a strap going out underneath his chin which is accurate to how Kane had it. something I'm a little confused about is the paint job on his head now you might be wondering what confusing about it it looks like Kane yes it does and on the side of the head they painted his ear which that's not out of the ordinary that's what you would expect them to do on this side however they didn't paint his ear and it's cast in black plastic so Kane only has one ear painted which is kind of strange to be quite honest and I do like the detailing here on the mask you can actually see it goes over and under some hair strands which is a very nice detail I do like that and you can even see some painted flesh tone back here so yeah wondering why they did it the way they did but overall I do like it now having a look at the torso it's the exact same torso that we saw with the ringside collectible cane now as you can see it does look like he is using the bigger shoulders on the ringside collectible cane which looks a little odd because he has the skinnier arms this cane is using the regular size shoulders with bigger arms and i think the proportions work for this figure i do like the paint job on it although i like the saturation more on the ringside collectible figure i think the red is done cleaner there here you can see some areas where it's not as thick as it should be um yeah it's just one of those classic instances of mattel not knowing how to apply red paint to black plastic i do like the straps they go very nicely on the figure and you can see they did imitate the mesh on his uh, costume versus the fabric right here now like I said he does use the bigger arms that we've seen on the newer figures and it does kind of throw off the look when you have these really big arms and then tiny little Donald Trump hands I don't know why we didn't get the bigger hands with Kane they have bigger hands why don't we get that with Kane why do they keep giving Kane such tiny little hands and even this Kane has bigger hands actually his hand is actually the same size on that side and one other thing I do want to point out is that the ringside collectible cane has sculpted detail on his glove where this one is just painted now like I said there are some things I like better on that ringside collectible figure this one I think does a much better job in general for example here his uh, belt is actually on his waist on the original ringside collectible figure it was on the torso which gave him this really elongated pelvis this one 
it could have been a little bit thicker but it does make his pelvis look a little bit thinner the straps on his uh, thigh right here look good the paint is clean for the most part again still suffers from that thin uh, paint job that Mattel is known for and one thing this one has over that original figure is knee pads. Now Kane did wear two different styles of knee pads in this look. He wore the red ones that had like the rivets going across them and then I think this is a more iconic one where it had the torn fabric. Unfortunately they didn't sculpt brand new knee pads for this Kane. Instead they just gave him the smaller knee pads with the torn uh, painted there are torn parts painted on, which is fairly decent. I would have preferred newly sculpted knee pads, but that still works. And then finally we go on to his boots, where they did capture his boots. For the most part, accurate. Although, on the original ringside cane, they are glossy boots. And you want to know which one is more accurate? If you said glossy boots cane, you are right. I don't know why Mattel doesn't add gloss to Kane's boots. Kane always, always wears glossy boots, and it is a little... Uh, odd seeing matte boots on Kane. It's not a problem that I can't fix myself by boot swapping, but yeah, it's one of those issues that it's like, come on Mattel, you've been doing this for how long and you're still having these issues? Overall, this Kane is done exceptionally well, and it's one of Mattel's better outings for their Kanes, especially for this era of Kane. So with that being said, guys, that's actually getting posed and compared to other figures you may have in your collection. Here we have Kane posed next to an Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar and a basic Jeff Hardy. And for one final comparison, here we do have the Legend Series Kane posed next to the Ringside Collectible Exclusive Kane. So with the comparisons out of the way guys, let's actually move on to Kane's articulation. Now Kane does have a ball joint here at the head which does let him look up and down slightly. His hair does get in the way but it is a very soft material, at least in the front so it does turn left and right no problem. Does get some pretty nice head tilt and because he is a newer figure you can just pop his head off very easily and I do like that Mattel is finally giving us that option with these figures. So if you have the Decade of Domination Kane you can switch the heads which is a really nice touch. He does have your standard ball joints here at the shoulder so those do go all the way around. They go out to the side no problem. He does have a bicep swivel. He is double jointed here at the elbow but because he uses the bigger elbow pads that does get in the way but we do have a single bend right there and then the second bend there. He does have a swivel hinge at the wrist, which works no problem. He does have ab crunch, which goes back only to about that far. Goes forward about that far, so not the best that we've seen. He does have waist swivel, but on mine it's completely frozen. I think paint might have got into that joint, which locked it up. But yeah, I can't get his waist to swivel at all, which is a little bit unfortunate. Legs do kick forward to about right there. They go back out to the side no problem he does have a thigh swivel which works fine double bend at the knee works no problem swivel at the boot then he has a hinge in the ankle going back and forward and then of course he does have some rocker ankle so overall the basic elite articulation you would expect from Kane so with that out of the way guys let's actually get Kane pose for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review And so here we have the Mattel Legend Series 15 Kane pose for my final thoughts and overall I'm really impressed by this figure. I am really really happy that Mattel finally listened to the collectors and gave us this version of Kane with a sculpted mask over his head. I know they did re-release this figure as a decade of domination figure with the photoreal removable mask and then the, ma the head that he had when he was unmasked which I think that was a really nice accessory but it was a little disappointing that we didn't get a new head sculpt with the mask on this figure but now in Legend Series 15, I am really happy that we finally have the 2002-2003 era of Kane with a sculpted mask. I think it makes a world of difference compared to the ringside collectible figure. I do like that figure, but I think I might enjoy this figure a little bit better now. This figure isn't without its flaws. I do feel like his hands are really undersized in proportion to the rest of his body. Seeing as how they did give him the bigger arms, they should have even given him bigger hands. I think the old choke slime hands would have been nice as well as a pair of fists could have also worked but overall I'm still happy with this figure now if you are looking for this version of Kane he is starting to hit stores at the time I'm making this video so if you haven't already done so check out your local targets because the legend series is exclusive 
to Target and that's where I picked up this figure. Well, I didn't pick it up. I did an in-store pickup. I ordered it online, picked it up in-store, which did run me about $27 after taxes, which is a little bit high for a figure. Um, prices are just going up on these figures, so that is just the name of the game. If you can find this cane and you really want the 2002-2003 era of cane in your collection, I really do recommend you add the Legend Series 15 cane to your collection. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other WWE videos. Hopefully, you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you'd like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it's in my collection, I'll gladly have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure videos and photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys. I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.